What do you think it is about Gee that makes him so good that he's been on the heater? Oh, he's throwing strikes. He's very aggressive with all his pitches. You know, he commands the zone. Um, his, uh, you know, he's handled left-handed hitters very well. Um, sub 200 average against lefties, righties are hitting over 230. There's a little bit of a split there. The command has been sharper to right-handers than left-handers, but I think that's the, the breaking ball has been a good weapon for him at times. Um, when you when you can get up here and throw strikes and keep the ball down in the zone, a little downhill plane, you have every opportunity to be very effective. Oh, um, how do you come back from a game like last night? Uh, you know, you you forget about yesterday and just come out ready to win tonight. You know, yesterday is yesterday. You can't control the past, mm -hmm. so we just go out there and uh, try to get a different result tonight. And uh, what did you learn from playing the Mets last time that you're going to change for today? Uh, I think the one thing that we can take from the last series against the Mets is it's, uh, we know that their team that that's not going to lay down. You mm -hmm. know, they're going to play. They're going to play hard for all nine innings, and uh, we have to have that same intensity. You know, um, just keep that same energy, uh, whether we're down or we're up. You know, play until the last out is made, and uh, we can live with that. And um, he, he's undefeated right now, so what do you think about that coming playing against him today? Uh, you know, we just we try to break that streak. Um, obviously, he's been pitching real well, you know, uh, but as a hitter and as a team, you know, you, you don't think coming in that, hey, this guy can't be beat. You think coming in that we'll be the team to, to give him that first loss. That's the result that, that you want. Um, as long as we go out there and play hard uh, all nine innings, we can be satisfied at the end of the night, uh, whatever the result is. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. So that was your first home run since June 5th at home. How did it feel to get that again? You know, it was nice. I mean, yeah, I was going through a little drought there in terms of home runs. I'm certainly not going up there trying to hit home runs, but, um, you know, if I can hit a lot more balls like I did right there in the gap and sneak a few out, then, you know, so be it. Can you just talk a little bit about the mental toughness and just the overall hustle that we saw tonight and how that really played a factor? Yeah, we were really resilient tonight. This is, you know, signs of what of what we are and what we can be on a nightly basis and, and where we need to be. So, um, you know, this was an all-around good game, good pitching, good defense, and um, clutch clutch performing at the in the late innings. That's that's the most important thing. Um, I know you were talking to a lot of teams, mm -hmm. and. Um, Steelers weren't really in the picture at first. Mm -hmm. When you got that call, what were you thinking? Uh, well, actually, my agent's the one who gave me the call first and said that the Steelers had called. And uh, as soon as they said that, I just thought, I mean, that's a great chance to play at home, you know what I'm saying, be around my family and everything. I just felt like it was a, a really blessed situation. Yeah, how special is it that you're here at the Steelers training camp? And I mean, you're from Connorsville. I mean, it's great. I mean, the, the hometown uh, fan base is great. Uh, my uncle played for him, so I mean, it's been in the family, so I get to come play where he played. And I mean, I'm just going to keep grinding hard every day to uh, hopefully make the active squad. Obviously, a lot of people around the area are very excited about this. What kind of feedback have you been getting? Um, I've been getting a lot of encouragement and support, actually. Uh, a lot of people from high school that I went to high school with told me they were uh, proud of me, they supported me. I actually seen a couple come to the couple practices, so you know, it's, just, it's a good feeling. I got a lot of encouragement and support behind me. Cool. And, um, since the lockout and everything, I mean, what were you doing? I know I saw a few videos of you actually dunking on <laughs> Facebook. Were you playing a lot of basketball? Um, um, I mean, I, I like to switch it up and do a lot of different things. Like some days I go play basketball. Some days I go to the field, run some uh, footwork drills, hit the steps. Some days I just go in the pool and just do some easy stuff. You know, I, I like to I like to switch it up. So yeah. Where do you work out at? Uh, or well, all over the place, really. I um, at home. I work out at the high school, Pecanville High School. Uh, sometimes I'm in Columbus. I got a couple passes to uh, a couple of gym passes in Columbus from being in Ohio from college. So all around, pretty much. Your uncle played for the Steelers. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, he played. Uh, Sam Davis. He was number 57. He actually has four Super Bowl rings. Mm -hmm. He played on uh, offensive line. And uh, how welcoming has the rest of the team been? Do you think this is a place you could fit in at? Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, the people here are great. Teammates are great. I'm gonna take me under my under the wing. Show me the ropes. Uh, just every, everything about Steelers football is about. So. And uh, what do you think that the coaches here are expecting from you? 
uh, they're expecting my best. And I have to say, uh, we had a meeting about that the other day. Coach said that he expects the best from everyone in the room, and at the same time that he's going to give us uh, his best. So, I mean, that, that's what Steeler is. It's, it's one of the best organizations in the National Football League. Yeah, another day I saw you had a nice catch out on that third field over there. How do you feel you've been doing overall so far? Uh, so far, so far, so good. Um, I mean, you can d uh, definitely progress every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just taking it slow, learning time, day by day. Uh, extra meetings with the coaches on the side, just trying to take as much as in as I can to maximize, maximize my chances of making the team. Are you feeling sore or anything yet? Yeah, actually a little bit, but uh, actually the day off yesterday helped. I got some extra treatment in. Legs are feeling pretty good, so I'll, I'll be at it today, back at it. Do you feel like you're up to speed with all the other guys, like veterans here? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that. Um, I'm kind of behind the eight ball as far as the lockout situation, getting my playbook late. A lot of other players uh, usually to get OTAs and mini camps to go through everything. And I'm just getting my playbook on the first day and then have to go out there the next day and run it. But I mean, I I'm learning on the run. All right. What do you think of the food? You know what? Actually, the other day I, ha I had lobster. I had some lobsters, some um, some spinach pierogi. I'm saying it's pretty good. I got a nice variety. All right. Thank you so much. So what's it like playing for your hometown team? I um, mean, it's an honor, you know. You never, never really thought about it when you was younger. You know, you always say you wanted to, but mm -hmm. when you get the opportunity, you know, it made it very exciting for me. Coming from Gateway High School, and you don't live that far away. Did you ever come out to Steelers camp before just to watch, or is this your first time? This is actually my first time because usually I'll be working on what I got to do when I was in high school. So, you know, this is my first time actually seeing this and experiencing it. So. It was a great thing. When you were in high school and just growing up, um, who was your favorite Steeler? At the time, it was uh, Joey Porter because he was here and, you know, playing linebacker and stuff. I just liked how he was always intense and, uh, and always was out there flying around. So now that you're here, I'm sure there's other guys on the team that you looked up to. What's it like being on the field with them now? I mean, it's great. You know, you see them and... You see them in person and you're actually playing with them and you see what type of people they are, you know, on and off the field. So, you know, it's a great thing and I, and I like to experience. So this is a place you think you fit in at? How have the guys been treating you? Oh, I mean, they, I, I know some of them, you know, just by training and stuff. But, you know, it, it's a great experience and I, I like seeing it and, you know, I, I like it being here. During the lockout, where did you train? Were you around here locally? Oh, yeah, I was local. I, I actually was training at my high school. And then I, I went to like a couple other places just to see things out, but mainly in my high school. So um, I heard you had a pretty good weekend. How do you feel about how you've been doing so far? I mean, I, I, I pretty, I feel pretty okay. But you know, it, each day you got to get better and improve. So you know, that's that's behind me now. It's time to make sure I do better for the next day. And you have a lot of competition around here. How have you been separating yourself from others, and how do you plan to continue to do that? I mean, mainly it's about special teams. You know, I got to separate myself on the special teams board and make sure I know my assignments on defense and know where to fit. But mainly my boys going to be special teams. And especially when you're in a situation like this, trying to earn a spot on a team, I know you always want to go 110%, but also at the same time, if you go too hard, it can lead to some mistakes. So how do you keep that balance? I mean, you're going to have mistakes. Nobody's perfect. so. But with me, I, I still got to go 110 regardless. And if I make a mistake, hey, you correct it in the film room and make sure you don't do it again. And what kind of feedback have you been getting from the coaches? Uh, you know, I, I get a little bit of feedback here and there, but it's not really about the feedback. It's, it's what happens when you get the opportunity and you're on that 53-man roster. How does it feel to be hitting people again? Oh, it feels great. <laughs> And how do you feel overall? Do you have any nagging injuries or anything like that? No injuries. I'm always, you know, I take care of my body, make sure I'm, I'm healthy. Thank you so much. Hines, what have you been up to since Dancing with the Stars is over? Just working out, rehabbing. Of course, you know, I've been uh, on the world win tour. You know, the post Dancing with the Stars, Kim's been very busy traveling all over, but you know, you'll see me in some commercial spots. Uh, be on the lookout for that. There's some funny commercials. But I've been doing a lot of things. Uh, part of the, the Got Milk uh, campaign that I just came from. But mainly it's just been working out. I'm ready to get back into football. You know, I had a blast dancing, but, you know, it's time for me to put up the, the ballroom shoes and pull out the cliques and uh, I'm ready to get back into the mix of things. I just think what we went through uh, together as a couple uh, and then to top it off with, you know, with the mirror ball. Uh, trophy. It's just uh, amazing. Where are you going to keep your mirror ball? 
I actually brought it from Atlanta to here. You know, we had the top flight security. I had a bag. I think <laughs> all the stuff. Is that no, 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 no. It's, it's, no, this is never. This is always going to be with right me. By your side. <laughs> the whole time. So. But there, the people at the airport, you know, they were they were happy. They knew what it what, what was inside, so they took very good care of it. So. Thank yeah. you. We're done. Thank you. Strawberry. What what's the significance of that to you and how are you feeling about that right now? Uh, I mean that's pretty cool, but you know, we still have a, another half to go, so uh, we just need to continue just to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, you know, see if we can have some good games against the Cubs, win some and uh, get ready for the next half. How important is that Cubs series coming up? Uh, I mean every 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 game's important and uh, you know, that's how we're gonna treat it. And uh, you know, we gotta go out and get these next three, take it game by game, uh, try not to do too much, and uh, just see what we can do from there. And you guys had a hard loss tonight, but in the past month you haven't went more than two game, or one game in a row without like, two losses in a row. How do you guys come back so well? Uh, just because we, we wash it off. Well, you know, you have a, you have a, don't win a game, wash it off, get ready for the next one. So, um, well, we're able to wash it off, have a day off on top of that, and then come back and get ready for the Cubs. Hurdle said you guys got outplayed tonight. What do you think? I mean, they, they played ball. They they keyed on our mistakes. That's what they did. And, you know, they are able to score some runs from that. Uh, so, I mean, if you look at the board, if you look at the runs, the hits, and I, I guess you could say they did. So, uh, you know, that's the way it is, but oh well. Yeah, it seemed like you guys had a lot of guys on base, but it just wasn't happening. Like, you were getting guys on the base but weren't getting the runs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it happens. Uh, you know, it's, like I said before, it's a game of baseball, so uh, no, no one's gonna be down. You know, pouting or nothing like that. It's all right. Just shake it off. Get ready. Okay, I've been having to change minds for a long time now, so it's nothing new to me. I mean, through college and you know everything else, so um, just constantly having to prove myself. So it's nothing new. It's just uh, another obstacle to overcome and. I think I'm ready. Um, you've had to change a lot of minds individually, but as a team, do you think these next couple of series are a chance for you guys to really change the minds of a lot of people of the Pirates? I think so. I think you know these division rivals coming up, who we're close, in a close race with, it'll be big to to make a statement uh, to show that we're going to stick around the rest of the way through. And um, this stretch, the rest of the month, is huge. Yeah, and this um, series coming up right now, a lot of people are saying it might be the biggest series in PNC Park history. I know you haven't been here that long, but just as long as you've been here, do you think this could be the biggest series since? I guess. I mean, we look at every series coming up as the biggest series of the year, so you know, considering we haven't been in this position in a really long time, I guess you could say that. So you got a triple in front of the Red Sox on your first big league appearance in front of your dad and mm -hmm. family and friends. How special a night was that for you? It's uh, very special. It's very exciting. Um, I don't know. I'm just feeling a whole bunch of different things right now. It was a great time, and uh, the fans were great, and I really felt their energy tonight. And uh, getting a win against the Red Sox in my first game is definitely a good feeling. So it was like a long road to get here, you know, a journey. Do you see yourself uh, staying a while? Yeah, I, I hope so. I mean, I have no expectations. I just, I know um, so there are certain things that are in my control. I can only control um, the things that uh, the things that I can control. I, I just I, I know what I can control, and I'm gonna get after it every day and play my heart out, and hopefully I stay up here as long as I can.